Claire Lewis Smith and I am playing Cameron in Bring It On the Musical and we are at rehearsals on a lovely Thursday afternoon. It is very different to what I've done before. Um, Strictly was kind of my introduction to kind of the dancing entertainment world of side of things. And then I did a few shows uh, in, 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 a, uh, in a show called Rip It Up, which was all kind of dance based with a little bit of singing. But this is the kind of first show where I'm playing a character and I'm having to learn about stage presence and acting and performance and dancing on top of that and cheerleading. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on in this show and I'm loving it. You know, as, you, as you've just seen, the cast that we've got are incredible. And I think for my role and my first show, I think this is a, the best place to be in terms of learning from the best, rubbing shoulders with some fantastic people and it's acrobatic. You know, so it's definitely going to help me um, kind of get used to that. It's it's been a it's been a crazy couple of years. I'll be honest. Um, I agreed to do this show in in 2019 at the start of 2019, and I remember joining a, a gym to get in shape in January 2020, and then obviously COVID hit, cancelled my membership, lockdown, and it was a very weird and crazy, scary time. I think for everyone, um, and then. Me and my girlfriend, we weren't earning any money. The industry had kind of slowed down to a crawl. Um, and then we were like, okay, let's, let's get into property. Um, you know, because we had savings and stuff. Um, so I convinced my girlfriend to, to kind of go into property because the property market was booming. Then she got pregnant. So then we had the baby going through at the same time as the house was being completed. Um, and then I just spent all of, all of this year pretty much renovating the property, came straight into rehearsals for this. So I literally haven't had time to do any kind of fitness or kind of regime. If I'm not, if I haven't been ripping up carpets and scraping wallpaper, I've been changing dirty nappies. So it's been, yeah, it's been full on. But in terms of solo -y kind of stuff, all my scenes are kind of rapping, um, but I'm doing a lot of singing. Um, I th I'm singing most of the, most of the numbers, uh, whether that's as, as an ensemble or recorded for track. Um, but yeah, singing, learning to sing and dance the choreography at the same time is, is a challenge. Um, it's hard to get my feet and mouth to work at the same time um, but it's slowly starting to go in which is which is nice it's not just a, a brick wall uh, but yeah it's, it's a, a real big learning curve and you, you know you're throwing in cheerleading and it, it you know it's not just pom-poms it's, it's proper cheerleading as well so yeah there's a lot to think about so I mean, there's not much change in terms of the way that I approach a show or a gymnastics competition you know I, I turn up here I make sure I'm on time and I treat it seriously until I leave um, it doesn't mean that I can't enjoy it and have fun and we, you know we have jokes and stuff but you know when we're rehearsing I'm listening to Fabian you know the choreographer when we're doing the cheerleading stuff you know I'm listening to the to the guys around me I'm focused when the girls in the air because it's serious stuff that we're doing and you've got to get used to being able to perform and staying focused you know doing eight shows a week you know one mistake and then a girl can end up on the floor you know injuries can happen so we do treat it very seriously and it helps coming from a sporting background to kind of keep that kind of mental focus. Um, yeah, massive fan of uh, Lee Manuel Miranda. I mean, yeah, the fact that, you know, he's done all Hamilton and Moana, which is one of my favorite Disney shows. Um, but yeah, it, it's fantastic. The script is fantastic. The music in it is, is brilliant. And I feel like the more you listen to it, the catcher it gets as well. Fabian and Guy, I mean, they're, they're great. And when I say we've got some really big stuff planned to, like for the end number and, and stuff, cross the line, yeah, it's good. We, we, we almost finished Cross the Line, so that would have been another good one to show you guys, but it's, it's big, big stuff.